What have they done with this? Welcome back guys to another video. Today's video is like a different kind of video. I'm going to be doing um, home uh, new Premier League kits um, 2019 to 2020. Um, this will be a long video so I need to get on with it. And just guys, for appreciation, can you just like the video because this video you might think is really easy but it's not. So make sure you drop a like because I put a lot of effort into this video, it took me all morning to do and now it's nearly 4 o'clock so if you guys would like, like or if you're new subscribe as well, um, just like you know, just appreciate that I did this video because it just took too long and obviously the vote for my Twitter won this so uh, more of you guys voted for the Premier League ones, probably because I haven't done a football video in quite a long time but yeah um, i'm gonna be putting all the kits over here so obviously i'm gonna rank them in alphabetical order uh, but without further ado let's get into it all right guys so starting off with number one i have got arsenal i've got my team with me over here um but yeah I've, um first one is arsenal i'm gonna pop a picture right here so yeah i really like the design the design of this uh kit i think the what adidas did this year with the three stripes looks like really nice and to be honest i'm going to be doing a ranking video of home kits as well but today i'm just going to be looking at them but to be honest if i would be ranking them i'd probably be ranking them about first or second place because what adidas did this year with the adidas like signs next to it is amazing so that is a very nice kit arsenal has this year and it would be definitely be in the top three for me uh, moving on we have got aston villa over here as well um it's pretty plain shirt very big like logo that like their sponsor i don't really like it to be honest but yeah obviously they've got the kappa like um their sponsor i to be honest it's a very plain kit i mean there's a lot of like logos and like badges around and it's an all right kit but to be honest if i would be voting it i'd probably put in it like mid table but um yeah right now the next one is gonna be burnley so um again the shirt's gonna be up here um i to be honest i think this kit is similar to the aston villa one as they've got the same colors um but yeah as i said um again like the um, umbro in here i don't know why they chose umbro because i think burnley is way better um because um, i think they are way better than to be sponsored by umbro so i don't know but they've obviously got that massive chinese um sponsor i don't know what's going on with these massive chinese sponsors this year but i think they're really ugly so overall this is an all right kit this would probably go like 14th for me um so yeah but to be honest guys i could rank them so i might do like a ranking video as well in one so i'm probably going to be ranking them but yeah next kit is going to be bournemouth again not really like that much of a really good kit like it's really plain like all it's got is the sponsor here a massive logo here like their sponsor obviously they've got the badge here and the umbro again not the biggest like fan of this kit it's it's like really regular to the one which they had last year but i would rank them about i don't know same with burnley maybe even 12th or something like that so it's an all right kit but I think they could have done a bit better with that. Uh, next is actually Brighton's kit. Brighton's kit is actually... I I like the clean kits. I don't like the like the massive kits. For example, here, they've added like a new thing. Like there's an, a shade of like an arrow going around. It's really nice. Obviously, you've got the regular stripes with the massive American Express um, sponsor and to be honest this would probably be in my top six maybe and very nice kit overall next we're moving on swiftly is gonna be crystal palace okay so crystal palace's um kit is right here um it's a clean kit um i don't know what they've done with them like white lines up but it just doesn't really and I don't really like how the stripe goes up right to the B sign on the man bet. I don't really like that, to be honest. It's an alright kit, but there's just too much going on, I think. I'm, uh, and that massive Chinese 
like logo with like the left sign literally reminds me of McDonald's. I don't know why, but the ones which they put on them kits are just ugly. But I don't know it's an all right kit if we would be actually looking at it nicely. But to be honest, it would go like temp for me. Next, moving on is my home is my team Chelsea's kit. Um. I mean, as I said, I like playing kits and I've loved how they've done this with it. Obviously, they've got the um, Yokohama, Yokohama uh, Tires uh, sponsor. The thing I like about that is it's not too big and it's really clean. Obviously, they've got like the car sign here, the Hyundai one. And I don't really like the pattern which they've done this year. But if we look at it overall, it's a very clean kit and I'll, I'm definitely going to be buying it. And I'm going to be doing lots of videos with it. So stay tuned for that. And I would probably rank that about fifth. So Chelsea's done a pretty good job with that. Next moving on is Everton's kit. To be honest, I don't know what they've won with the patterns again. What I don't get it. It's like it's like the machine has not gone through the whole pattern like they've stopped like midway ish and i don't really like that because if you're doing a kit and you're doing like patterns you might as well just finish it off with the whole kit and to be honest like they've got the same like sponsor sport person and uh, the ang angry birds thing i like the bit of touch uh, of white to it on the sides i think it looks pretty cool but overall like not there's not much going on but it's a pretty clean kit i wouldn't buy it myself because of the pattern but overall this would go about ninth or tenth for me i don't know but um yeah next is actually leicester city's kit to be honest this kit is actually very nice i think the uh, again like the adidas is very nice for like the three stripes i love that with the king pow power um obviously sponsor with like the snake here like the king on the eye i and i really like the checkered flag which is going on in the background i love that um and yeah this would definitely go into my top five as well um and this is a very nice kit even though leicester has been going through a lot of things in the past like one or two years so uh with that i think they've done a pretty good job with it so yeah Next, moving on swiftly, we've got Liverpool's kit. To be honest, this literally looks like the kits which they've done in like 2005. This is probably the ugliest kit right now. Well, one of the ugliest kits right now in probably Premier League. I'm not joking. Like, I don't know what they've done to them. Stripes going up to the top and like the sponsors again. I don't... To be honest, you guys might think it's not true, but I just really don't like these kits i think they're just ugly and it literally reminds me of their like 2005 kit i'll put up a picture right here i just don't really like it they could have done like a more like modern model or something but i just really don't like it and this would probably be going like like probably the down the table so probably like 16th or something so yeah but next we have got manchester city's kit to be honest, for a top class team like Manchester City, I think they shouldn't have they should have done a better design. I don't know what's going on with them like dark blue stripes going up and down. I don't know, that just doesn't really fit the kit to be honest. The purple I kind of like, which they've done like a few years ago past, but to be honest, they've gone with the same sponsor, same design, it's just that they've got this massive like uh, like purple um, stripe going down with a puma sign in blue I don't know it's not the my favorite kit but again this would probably be going like 11th 12th I don't know um, but yeah moving on we've got the Manchester United kit to be honest this kit is all right as I said they've done well, well with the Adidas like sign down the middle but I don't know if they would have like finished it halfway why didn't they just go down the whole way or maybe if you wanted to actually look out out of it where the adidas sign stops maybe just put a line under it like a black line so it like looks real and so people can actually tell why the adidas uh, stripes actually stop there so i don't really get that um but yeah it's an overall all right kit um it would this would probably go like upper table maybe like 
um, 11th or 10th, I don't really know, um, but I don't really get like the black and the gold, um, you know, uh, like the logo, I just think it looks pretty bad during to the kit because it's like the Chevrolet sign's got like a gold on it, overall it's just not a very good combination I think, but moving on we've got Newcastle's kit, um, I don't know, it's same again, like if you think about it, they've done a massive H in the middle because if you think about it like the fun 88 sign is literally like pulling a line across the two white lines and it literally looks like a h and i don't know why they've added like three puma logos in the middle but i'm really interested about this uh like um design where like the um like the massive chinese logo which i don't like is in the bottom and then they've done the newcastle badge and then the puma sign and i've got two more puma badges there's pretty lot going on but at the same time there's not they could have put like the Chinese like spots a bit downwards because ba you can basically see none nothing of the Newcastle sign, but yeah overall it's an alright kit probably would put it around fifteenth. Um, uh, next we've got Norwich City literally just got up into the Premier League. Um, they've done an alright kit. I mean I don't know what's going on with this shading of green to yellow. And the like the they've got an alright sponsor even though they've just come into the Premier League. It's not the massive Chinese logos, but yeah, I don't know what's going on with the like the yellow going into the green. I just don't really like it. I I think they've done pretty well with like the stri green stripes on the end. Pretty normal kit, but this would probably go around 14th for me. So yeah, next moving on to Sheffield United's kit. Uh, if I'm saying it right, yes. To be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of this kit. The sponsor's massive. Free Adidas logos, again, should have done better like um, what the other, uh, like Man United. They should have like pulled a line to show like when the Adidas signs. Um, it's, it's a pretty messy kit, to be honest. It's got stripes all over the place. Like the end looks like it's been cut off. Like, I don't really get why they added another black line to the sides. They've got black lines going down their neck. I, the sponsor, are massive. I, I don't know, Adidas hasn't done a great job about this kit. But for me, it would pro this kit would probably go around 18th to 19th. Not a massive fan of this kit. But yeah, moving on to the last line of kits, we have got Southampton's kit. Right, just saying guys, this, is, this kit is literally going 20th. What have they done with this kit? Like, what is that massive black blob on the but on the front? What is that? And like the stripes going up to the massive Chinese sponsor. I mean, that sponsor is bigger than my head. <laughs> but um, yeah, like the I don't know why they've added like the red, um, like the white stripe next to the uh, black. I don't know what they've done to this kit. But as I said, I'm not gonna speak much about it because there's no point because it's just disgusting. And I've as I said, I've put it twentieth. Moving on to Tottenham's kit, right? The stripes which they've actually added to this thing, it might not be real because it's probably just the websites like design or like the printing page whatever but to be honest this is probably the best kit in the premier league so i've put them first to be honest to be honest this is a very clean kit they haven't done too much to it and this is what i like about kit to be honest if they would have got rid of that blue like thing that strip i would probably say it would go like like second because but right now when i'm looking at the kit like actually it's really nice like there's nothing too much going on they've got the AIA like sponsor as usual they've got the Tottenham logo and the Nike it looks really nice and I put them first place moving on to the last three um um here's what moving on to the last one here we've got whew, so after a lot of talking guys hope you guys enjoyed that video like comment and subscribe if you want more of these videos, make sure to like, comment, and obviously like, suggest more video ideas. I'll put up a poll for my last video in Spain, um, what you guys want, and uh, if you want more of these videos, make sure to drop a like. Like, if you want me to do like the predictions, I haven't really done as much predictions as right now because, as I said, like this wasn't really a prediction video. I was just adding something to it, so it wasn't as boring. Just. 
because I was rating kits. That's not always the funnest thing to watch. So I added a little bit of spice to it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. As I said, do the usuals. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.